yes. the reconstruction of a portion of Lafayette Road for one and a half million dollars. <clears throat> Second to be, that. Well, to you don't be, have to vote for it. Just to, second it. So to we be can raised and appropriated. I'll okay. second it. Okay. Thank you. Seconded by Regina. Okay. You know, Fred, would you just speak uh, to the essence of this, please? I will. Uh, the current pro process out on, on uh, Lafayette Road to replace the sewer line has been stopped. We've, we've, we've put the contract in limbo. Uh, we ran into ledge. We're currently clearing that ledge. We'll be back in the spring. We can't be out there doing it now because of the holidays, because of the winter coming and so forth. And we can't get asphalt, really, at this point in time and lay it on streets because of the, the cold weather. Uh, we'll be back in the, in the, uh, the early spring uh, to finish that sewer replacement <coughs> up. And at that point, if this article passes, we will be re installing drainage for the entire same length of the, the roadway where the water and sewer were replaced. And we'll also be repairing the sidewalks and uh, putting in street lighting that is similar to what we're putting in at the beach, and then repaving the road. May I ask you, Fred, um, what will be the impact of dealing with Lafayette Road if this does not pass? Well, that's a good question because uh, there's there's funds to pave it. Yeah. Okay, which is in the uh, the, the both the previous, water and the previous. sewer replacement. And we're holding those funds, obviously. Right. It would be repaved, uh, so it will be nice and smooth, uh, but that other work would not be done. So the uh, drainage issue that last year's warrant article was intended to address will not be addressed? Is that, is that right? Not? Last year's warrant article was not intended to address drainage, okay, only so sewage. This is not going to have an effect on drainage at all. Yeah. Well, there, there will be drainage there, but the drainage is very poor. It's, 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 it needs to be replaced. It's, it's all... Uh, uh, vitreous clay pipe. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like the sewer line. It's it's cracked. It's 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 aged. So it's leaking. Uh, it's leaking. Okay. And gosh, gosh knows what it's sucking the in. Sewer in addition line, to being leaking. The sewer line is leaking. Well, the sewer line was not leaking. The okay. sewer line had the top of the sewer Missing. had disappeared. Right. right. Well, we, one of the reasons we were now the earth is the top line. Uh, it basically, just yeah. it was just compacted earth that was the, right. the top of the pipe. Uh, we replaced it simply because we had some blockages in that particular sewer line. If those blockages had occurred further down, we probably would have had a giant sinkhole in the middle of Route 1. So we needed to replace that in order to solve those problems. So if this doesn't pass and we aren't able to take care of under-the-street issues such as the... Under-the-street issues will be taken care of. Even if this doesn't pass? That is correct. Okay. Because, just to clarify, Tim, this is drainage and sidewalks and even ornamental street lighting. <laughs> it, it says the installation or ornamental. It should say installation of. of. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it's, it's drainage? Uh, uh, well, I it's think runoff, runoff, ornamental right? could be. Drain, when you say drainage, you're talking runoff, right? We're, we're, we're talking manholes, we're talking catch basins, we're talking catch uh, basins. piping. It yeah. doesn't come from the clouds and falls we down. We hope and it only off, comes right? from there. Yeah. Well, someone might spit as well, right? Well, we're more, more worried about a break in a water main or something of that nature. Right. But. but that's basically all classified as runoff generally. It's right? basically classified as runoff. So this is only going to address runoff and sidewalks, which we have a separate one article for, and we also have sidewalks in the budget. Not for this particular. No, not not no. They don't specify what location they're for. Okay, but we do have money set aside for sidewalks in general. Um, and then, of course, decorative lighting, right? Ornamental. Mm -hmm. We want to increase the Ornamental. Lighting. Is there a difference between ornamental and decorative? Apparently, right? this well, says ornamental. It's all decorative, but it's also ornamental. <laughs> is it like Christmas tree lights? <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm glad to say it is not, uh, although we could put the lights on behind you over there so we, we could have a comparison. But we do have lighting there presently, correct? We do have lighting there. It is commercial lighting. All right. It's not very effective from the standpoint of what we would put, we would be putting in. Okay. Because I again I, take a look at what's down the beach currently. Well, it's a little different because when I go down downtown, and I drive down that street, and regardless of what time of day it is, I always feel like it's sufficiently lit. Unlike certain streets on the beach. Well, during during the daytime, it is sufficiently lit. There's right. No question but even that. at night, you get a lot of traffic, so you get a lot of headlights. There's a lot of traffic on this road. 
there are also told, people who use that road problems. frequently <coughs> at night when traffic the volumes are extremely low. Uh -huh. Of course, they'll probably pick up now that they're going to increase the tolls. Mm -hmm. But all those people will have headlights, won't they? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tim, thank you. Now, we're taking this money out of the Road Improvement Capital Reserve Fund, yes, all sir. of it, mm -hmm. so there's no tax impact. But there is an impact in terms of what roads are not going to get done because we took the money out for this, right? <coughs> the so roads all the other roads that were planned, you know, we, we sold the voters on the idea, let's put money in this capital road improvement fund because we wouldn't get these streets done. And now those, some of those streets at least won't, will at least be delayed if we take a million and a half out to do this. Fair and statement. This street would be delayed if we took a million and a half out to do something else. Right, but it would still get paved. It would still get paved. All right, okay. Yeah. Just think. I want right. clear understanding. Thank you. You're welcome, Tim. Um, Thank you too, Mr. Chairman. You're most certainly welcome. <laughs> David, do you have a question? Yes. Fred. Sir. Last year, if, if I remember one of the Warren articles or something at the end of the year, there was a group of people down the beach. They wanted $300,000 to evaluate or address or make studies of. And I thought that was going to be along Lafayette Road. Am I wrong? Between the front. So where does that $300,000 go in reference to this work that you're doing? They wanted $300,000 to investigate undergrounding all the utilities mm -hmm. on Lafayette Road. Okay. Through this section. Right. Okay. Uh, you must that's, be coordinating with them or something. To well, do. they haven't finished their study at all. Uh, it looks like in order to do what they would like to do, they're going to have to find another route to do it. They're actually thinking about going behind the buildings instead of down the street. Behind the buildings? Yes. To go down the street, they would, uh, would what be they a monumental task. What are they trying to do? Behind the buildings? Well, that's, that's not an uncommon practice with electric utilities and, and, and wire utilities overhead. If you're going to bury them, to either do them overhead or, or bury them behind the buildings. And they need $300,000 to study what they're going to do? No, they need $300,000 for the engineering plans. Well, well that's... Yeah, they, I, that is a study in sense. Yes. yes. <clears throat> but in this case, they'll actually have engineering construction plans. So it's got nothing to do with your, what, what we're talking about right None here? None whatsoever. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad you clarified that because that is something that I think that needed to be clarified. This is a separate thing. You are talking about separate thing completely. So, Good. Okay, Jenny, go ahead. Is that part of the, they were going to raise grants for that too. Is that part of that? They're going to raise, try to, if, they're going to try to raise grants for the construction part of it. Okay, so first they're going to get $300,000 from the taxpayers to do the study. Right. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to go after grants to execute it once they get the study. Well, it probably is appropriations as well, because the grants won't cover all of it, I'm sure. Okay. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a marriage between the utilities, the town, and and grant systems. Okay. The other question I have is, what are you doing for these merchants? I mean, we messed them up this summer. Mm -hmm. Are we messing them up again next summer? And are we leaving Lafayette Road now in the condition that's in for the rest of the winter? I can't pave it. The public works can't pave it currently the way it is. So right yeah. now it's staying that way through the winter. It is. Yeah. And next year we're going to have a plan for these merchants because they were pretty patient this year. I know they were, and we've worked, we've worked with them very well trying to get this done. Uh, we'd like to have a plan that finishes up the roadway and gets, gets us out of there for the next 30 to 40 years. And that's what this would do, because you've got to rebuild the road. So you're not going to have to go in there except maybe for an overlay at night sometime in the next 12, 15 years. I understand that, but if you have two summers of no sta uh, limited sales or reduced sales, you aren't going to be around for the next 10 or 20 years. Well, that's why so, we're doing it at night. Okay. We, we, we don't want to shut the merchants down, and the merchants that do stay open at night, there's a couple of restaurants, <coughs> we've been trying to adjust traffic flow so they, in fact, can have traffic and, and stay in business. Okay. Okay, We're you. sensitive to that issue, too. Yeah. Thank you, Jenny. Um, thank you. Well, hold on, Sonny. Regina? Well, Fred sort of just touched on what I wanted to say, but as far as, I mean, we unfortunately are going to have to dig the road back up in the spring for unforeseen circumstances, which is, I mean, we had a pipe. How old was that pipe? 1930-something? So yep. it was, you know, 80 years old. So unforeseen is understandable. But I think this reserve fund was set up for big projects like this. And to repave Lafayette, 
to eventually have to dig it up again. Like this way, like Fred said, it will be set for another 30, 40 years if this work could get done all at the same time. So I think that's why we decided to do it this year as opposed to putting it off. Okay, hold on. Uh, Sonny, go ahead. Yeah, if I recall, at one point you were talking about putting the utilities on the ground and coordinating with, you know, doing it all at once. And I asked Chris Jacobs about putting bike lanes on the roads. You know, you could put, it seems to me if you're doing the sidewalks, you can see utilities under there, under the sidewalk, so you don't have to take out the highway every time. Sidewalk area is not wide enough for the utilities. Oh, you still you have, have three primary electric utilities, plus you've got the telephone, the cable company. Uh, there's not enough room on the sidewalks to put them down. The sidewalk on the west side has the water underneath it. Um, there is drainage uh, on the west side as well. On the east side is the sewer. Uh, and, of course, you've got all the cross connections running across the street. If we were going to put the electric utilities or the wire utilities, I'll call them, underground, we would have to dig up the center of the roadway, uh, probably almost as wide as, almost half as wide as this room. The utilities have the right of way onto, what, eight feet onto the you, property? You, utilities don't have any right of way without a permit from the town. Yeah, well, they're there by permission. Yeah. And and if the town makes a decision that they're going to underground or require the utilities to be underground, the utility companies will yeah. have to put them underground their expense. The, the town will have to share with them. That seems to me this would be the time to, to do it so you could solve the problem for the next 40 years. We, we will see what happens when that article is finished and, and the money comes forward and the town is asked to do whatever they're going to ask the town to do with those those funds. Okay. And I can't tell you what that's going to be because we don't know yet. Thank you very much. Um, anybody? Okay, question. Mike, go ahead. All, all of this money that we put in this road reconstruction fund, we did a patch on Exeter Road. Mm -hmm. But it is a patch. I know that. And we said that would last three to five years, maybe longer. And the, and the discussion went that if we put that patch in there, grade the road, get the water out of it, and pave it so people can travel over it, it will be good for a temporary three to five years. Or maybe longer. Or maybe longer. But the discussion went... Now we're going to hire the engineers. We're going to redesign that road. We're going to start at the bottom, and we're going to build it back up. We won't lose the hot top because we'll regrind it and use it in the grading process to finish Exeter Road down at the intersection of Lafayette Road. Mm -hmm. It'll be all done. That's just blew off the map and went away, and we're going to run this patch, spend a million and a half in the center of town, we don't know what we're doing with the underground utilities yet, but we've asked for the money. And Exeter Road's just, what, what's it going to be in five, ten years? No engineering plan, no way to fix it, and no money left in the road reconstruction fund. If you want to do that work on Exeter Road, <coughs> give me $5 million and I'll be happy to get it done because it's going to cost at least that, perhaps more. And on top of that, you'll have to repay. You'll have to replace the entire sewer running up the road. That that will keep the road in repair. But the problem is that we have I know tens and hundreds of millions of dollars worth of you know this. You've done I, roads, I okay? Know it. Uh, of, of past due repair work on these streets, I know. putting three hundred thousand dollars a year away in, in in reserve, is going to do nothing. This, this is just a cap job on, on this section of Lafayette Road. I know. You can see the upper section of Lafayette Road is already splitting open. Yeah. It's going to have to be redone. Uh, in 10 years, I think we can hold uh, Exeter Road for it'll, 10 years at, at the outside, yeah. uh, provided we have do good, effective maintenance and the normal maintenance for hot top type pavements. But you're talking right now, you're talking 4 to $5 million to fix that road. I know. And we don't have it. And we didn't have it when we did the patch. I mean, you're, you're roughly, we're, we're expending three or four hundred thousand dollars a year I know. In, in paving, okay? Yeah. We have to stop paving soon because <coughs> we don't have any more roads to pave because all the roads that we're going to pave, we're going to have to turn around and dig up again in a couple of years to replace the sewer lines. 
I talked it's, about that a couple weeks ago. I know. Lane. I've been talking about it for 10 years. I know. Uh, you're hundreds of millions of dollars behind in this program because you haven't been saving money. At $300,000 a year is a drop in the bucket. We're spending more than that just to pay roads, just putting a coating on top of them yeah. to keep them so they can be ridden on. When a current road needs to be redone, terrible. it's in terrible condition. High Street needs to be redone. You, you don't have any idea, you know, you're probably talking somewhere in the area of $25 million to do those three roads to do them right. Yeah, bottom up. $300,000 a year isn't going to do anything. Okay, let's stick with this. Let's try to stick with this uh, Warren article. Sonny, do you have something to say about this Warren article specifically? Specifically uh, about Rose this. Brought up. I just no, no, we're not going to talk uh, about Exeter Road, just, okay? We're not going to, we're talking about this Warren article. Is you have a question about this Warren article? We're not going to be discussing Exeter Road tonight. Any further, thank you. Is this got to do with this Warren article? Don't too? I always stay on topic? I you? hope you do. <laughs> Because we're getting a little off topic here. <coughs> Our current status with Lafayette Road relative to its surface. Yeah. Uh, if we were to just pave over it, assuming the Swan Article doesn't pass and we just pave over it. Right. How long before we're right back to where we are right now? Three to five years? Is that what I'm hearing? I'll give you the outside, maybe eight. Maybe eight years. So if we don't pass this Warren article, we can readdress this in eight years. And it won't cost you one point five million, it'll cost you about Well, you're assuming inflation that we can't Yes, on right now. But well, yeah. there will be some inflation. Yeah. For sure. There will be some. The cost of hot top goes up every year. We all see that in the business. Uh, the cost of hiring people, contractors to do the work to put in the facilities that need to be placed within the roadway surface. The cost of curbing, uh, the cost of lighting, the cost of just about everything is going to go up. So instead of looking at 1.5 million, you're probably looking put another add another million dollars to that. Yeah, but we'll be a much richer town in eight years than we are today. Because we're well, growing. I, I'm hoping we're going to win the international lottery because we need so. <laughs> All right. Enough said, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Any, any further questions, comments about this? Seeing none, those in favor recommending, please raise your hand. And I see David, Stephen LeBranch, uh, Regina, Brian, Sonny, and Ginny. Those opposed? Steve Henderson, Mike Plouffe, and Tim Jones.